there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect C Sharp to SQLite database. So first thing, we will create new project in C Sharp console. Let's name it C Sharp SQLite. Click on OK and this will create one line project. Now go to tools, then NuGet package manager, click on manage NuGet packages for solution. Here you have to search for package name SQLite. So click on browse, type in SQLite and it will search for that package. Now select the topmost package named System Data SQLite. Choose your project where you want it to install and then click on install. Then it will go through a few process, then it will ask you for permission to include this package in your project. So it will take time depending on your internet connection. So let's wait for that. Okay, it will ask you to review changes. Click on OK and your package will be added to your solution. You can check the added files on the right hand side. So it will add the references and it will show you the finish message. Okay, as you can see on the right, it will show you a list of the references it is adding to your solution. Okay, so it is taking its time to finish loading. Now we can go back to our program and close you get okay now here we have to add reference using system dot data dot sqlite okay now the next thing we have to do here is to create one query so get inside your static void main method and here we are going to create one string let's name it create query then equals to then add the rate within double quotes we will have our SQL query so type in create table if not exists and then you can have some space okay and then type in my table okay and here you can simply keep on adding your content let's say I want to add ID which is integer not null primary key auto increment then second thing to add is name okay which is going to be n our care two zero for it and it is allowed to be null and then let's add one more field let's say gender okay now you have your bracket completed here and you can outside use semicolon so this creates your query where you are creating table now the next thing to do is use system dot data dot sqlite dot sqlite connection Okay, so let's check that here SQLite connection and here we are calling for create file and we are going to create sample.db3 as our SQLite database okay 
now the next thing we are going to use this database so let's use system data sqlite sqlite connection let me copy this to avoid typing and create connection object now this should point to your sqlite connection data source which we just created right now is sample.db3 okay now the next thing to do here is within curly bracket we are going to add one more using then connection object to point to system data sqlite and then sqlite command and here we pass on our connection object con okay now the next part after this would be to okay so hope everything's fine up to this point okay now let's start our connection by typing con.open the next thing we will have our command which I accidentally turned into connection so correct this into SQLite command CMD okay and let's have cmd dot command text equals to here we run our create query sorry it is string okay so this execution of query will create a table inside our sample db3 okay so first we created connection then we created command okay now what we have to do now is to insert some content into this so let's add cmd execute non query okay so the previous query will be executed and next query to include it cmd dot command text equals to insert into my table here we use name and gender where values are going to be let's say within double bracket here let's say Alex and male okay and you can create one more execution of this query as cmd dot execute non query okay if you want you can again create the same query and however this time you can change this to some other name as let's say Diane and female okay then use cmd dot execute non query Okay, so we have two entries so far and the next thing to do is to create select query so use select star from my table okay okay now here uh, I'm going to go through the loop using SQLite data reader so let's use using system data dot let's say sqlite okay 
the same data SQLite dot SQLite layer. Okay, so data reader is here. You can use a reader object and use cmd dot execute query, or you can use execute reader for going through the loop. Okay, now inside here we have while loop, and within while loop we will use reader dot read to go through all the records and then I'm gonna put okay so I'm gonna put console dot right line and here we have to specify what part of data we want to read so name is one to read so we will use name query plus let's see if I want to separate that out and use another plus reader and here let's use gender and at last what we will do is we will close our connection after con dot close here so outside the loop we will have our connection close and then outside all of this we will just use console dot read line okay okay so make sure that you use double quotes here instead of single quotes and those errors won't appear so let's execute and find out okay so here is the output that we are expecting the two entries are shown here so this is exactly the way we want it so our program can create query for table then it created a sqlite database then it added the data into database table and it fetched the records available and printing it out on screen okay so this is pretty much the program here you can pause the video and go through the code let me increase the size so that you can view it properly okay so this part is for creating our table and then we created our database and we also created query that adds content into our table and within final loop we are printing it out so the issue was with single code you have to use a double code for it to properly appear okay so this is a video for connecting your c-sharp console application with sqlite